What's up guys, Mark here, back with another video. I hope you guys are doing really, really well. Today I'm uh, starting a new video series. Uh, I actually posted on Instagram the other day using that new feature that lets you do like a, you know, ask me anything type thing. People can reply with questions and all that. Anyway, I posted a couple of them just for fun and, uh, you know, let people ask me questions about my process and, you know, what I've been up to and stuff like that. And there seemed to be a ton of questions from people about how to start a, a business and more specifically advice for starting, um, you know, a clothing brand, selling t-shirts and stuff like that. Uh, and it was just, there's, you know, there's way too much to say on that to just reply in a, an Instagram message. And I feel like I've got a lot of, of advice and stuff like that that I could give. So I thought, you know what, let's, you know, get back on the YouTube bandwagon and, um, you know, make a video and answer some of these questions because there's really is so much to cover. So for those of you who don't know, uh, I have run a few clothing brands now. I've started my first brand, I think in 2011 or maybe 2012. Um, honestly, I've, I've done a few of them. Some of them have been relatively successful. Others have been absolutely garbage, uh, just being honest. Uh, I made so many stupid mistakes just trying to figure it out on my own, which is also part of the fun of it, I guess. Um, but you know, there's probably a lot of mistakes I made that I could just tell you in these videos. And you know, if you want to start a brand, I guess it, it helps you so you don't make the same stupid mistakes that I did. So, so yeah, uh, I thought I would make a few videos about that. There's probably going to be a few different topics. Um, so it, it'll probably be a series, which is why I've called this one episode one. There's a whole bunch of stuff that I want to talk about, like, um, you know, sourcing shirts and stock and how much should you order? What product should you order? Um, should you, you know, invest money in, in marketing early on and, and advertising and photo shoots and, you know, when should you do sales, giveaways, how much should you make your shirts, how do you get designs, you know, there's just so much stuff to talk about. So, so yeah, I want to make videos about all those topics. The first one, though, I think we should really just start off with more of an overview kind of thing and talk about just making sure that you understand what you're getting into and, you know, just setting some realistic expectations because the, the harsh reality is, well, it's kind of a pros and cons kind of approach, right? Starting a brand, more specifically, you know, a streetwear brand, selling t-shirts, hats, that kind of thing. It has never been easier than it is now. That's a really, really good thing for you if you want to start a company, but it can also be kind of a negative thing when you think about it, because that means that there is an insane amount of competition out there that can also just start a brand overnight. Like it's really quite simple. Uh, so you really need to have a think about what your goals are with the, with the brand, how far do you expect it to go, how far do you want it to go, what are you gonna do that's gonna be different to, to, to other brands and stuff like that. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, and so, you know, just going back a little bit, when I was talking about brands and stuff that I'd done, I said, you know, some have been really, really garbage. They have, there have been things that absolutely tanked and that I just was really stupid with. There have been other brands, more specifically the brand Ironhides that I ran for quite a few years, um, which started out as actually a skateboard brand and then developed into more of a clothing and streetwear brand. Um, you know, I would say that was relatively successful. Now, what does relatively successful mean? That's up to you. My interpretation of it was, my kind of goal was, let's start this clothing brand and if it gets to a point where I can live off this brand, you know, make a full-time income selling t-shirts and, and stuff, then to me that was the first you know milestone of, of success i would consider that to be successful obviously you know longer term I, I wanted it to be this massive brand i wanted it to be you know super super successful and make a lot of money and i wanted to have my own staff and you know i still love that 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 thought of you know being able to run my own business and have my own staff and you know it would just be really really enjoyable i think so yeah um like i was saying uh, you know i think one thing that people seem to get really wrong is they don't really understand how much it takes to get to a point where you can just make a stable income um, off selling t-shirts because there's there's really not that much money to be made especially early just you know statistically speaking the odds are stacked yeah stacked pretty heavily against you i would say there's a very very small percentage of brands that ever actually make it off the ground and actually run um, and a lot of them probably fail uh, within the first couple of years i would say um, you know, just being realistic. So I don't want to discourage you, but at the same time, I want to be realistic and I want you to know what, what it's going to be like. Um, it'll always be really, really beneficial if you've got other skill sets that are related as well. Um, I personally had an IT background and um, so setting up things like web stores and my own websites and all that sort of stuff, that was really, really easy for me because um, that's what I did at university. Uh, obviously, I have a design background and I design 
you know, logos for tons of other brands now and stuff like that. So that was a pretty big help for me as well. Although early on, I wasn't designing. I only started designing, you know, a few years ago. So um, before that, it was it was harder. So if you have skills like that, or maybe you're a photographer, that could be super handy. Um, you know, things like advertising on Instagram and that kind of stuff. That'd be really, really helpful too. But anyway, sorry, I feel like I'm rambling a bit. So to get back on track, think about if, if you want this clothing brand to become a full-time income, what does a full-time income look like? So I, I live in Australia, right? So obviously, depending on where you live, money is different, different um, you know, expectations, the cost of living is different and that kind of thing, right? So I think um, I, I just looked at the statistics before, the average salary, the average earning per year at the moment uh, in Australia is in the high $70,000 a year, so around $78,000 a year, I think it was. Um, I think when I was younger and I was starting out a clothing brand, I would always compare it to sort of working in, in retail. I feel like that's a pretty good baseline because uh, it's not necessarily a really high earning career, uh, but you know, working in full-time income, maybe in a clothing store and stuff, I think there's a lot of people who are in that position that go on to want to start their own brands. You know, they, they see so much streetwear and stuff that that's what inspires them. So I looked at the Australian Bureau of Statistics. St I looked at the Australian Bureau of Statistics and uh, the average retail earnings last year full-time uh, for an adult in Australia was $58,000 a year. So if you think about, you know, if, if I wanna start a t-shirt brand this year and, and I want it to get to a point where I can make more than a retail salary full-time, so more than $58,000 a year, I have to sell quite a lot of t-shirts. And remember, it has to be $58,000 a year of profit because obviously, you know, a good chunk of the money you make is how much you're investing in the shirts and shipping and all the other stuff that's associated with that. So let's just say that you start out pretty early on, right? And and obviously in the earlier days, you'll be only ordering smallish runs of shirts, you know, maybe like say 50 shirts of a design at a time or a hundred. Um, and if you sell that shirt for, if we just say maybe 30 bucks, I think that's pretty reasonable. Um, if you were to sell that, it's probably gonna cost you around 20 bucks per shirt when you actually add in all those costs. And keeping in mind, I live in Australia, so you know it might be different in the country that you live in. Um, so that's a, a profit of $10 per shirt. Now, in order for me to make $58,000, that means I need to sell 5,800 shirts in a year, um, which is a buttload of shirts. It, that's a lot of shirts to move. Um, yeah, it, that's just the reality of it. So then if you were to divide that by 52, 52 weeks in a year, that gives you about 111 shirts. So you need to sell 111 shirts a week to make full-time retail uh, wage, basically. So it's a pretty big ask when you, when you think about it. So, you know, you'd be packaging like 15 shirts a day or something like that. So imagine packaging, you know, say 15 orders a day. That alone would take up a good chunk of, of time. So. You know, at the same time, you, you might think about it, well, 15 shots a day, that's achievable. Yeah, it is, it is achievable. That will get you to, you know, that $58,000 a year. Um, <clears throat> obviously, on top of that, then you also want to think, well, how desperate am I to maybe quit my job or do this full time? If you're not that desperate, maybe if you have a job uh, that you already like as well, then you might decide to keep putting that money back into the business, which would be the smartest thing. The best thing for the business really is if you keep putting that money, um, you know, keep putting it back in. Uh, that way you can then get those costs. So if it costs you $20 a shirt, you can start to drive that down to 15 and then maybe 10. Eventually when your clothing brand gets to a really, really big size, you might be thinking, well, how do these, these other clothing brands and the Nikes of the world, how do they make so much money? Well, they don't go to local printers. They would be getting stuff done a lot of the time, probably in China or, or offshore somewhere else where it's a lot cheaper. So you would be able to get shirts for like $3, it would cost you, for example. So you might be thinking, well, why can't I do that now um, when I start my brand? The simple reason for that is in order to do that, you would have to order thousands of shirts. There would be super, super high minimums. On the other hand, if you went to a local printer, uh, a local screen printer, you may be able to order, you know, really, really small runs of say 20, 30, 50 shirts per, per design and stuff like that, which is what you'd want to be doing for starting. You definitely don't want to overreach and like, you know, order tons and tons of shirts hoping that they're going to sell because the reality is the first ones, you know, probably won't just being honest, they just probably won't. So yeah, you know, just, um, yeah, anyway, I feel like I'm rambling a little bit in this video, so I'll probably wrap this one up soon. This one's just the more overview type thing, but, uh, 
but yeah, in, in the upcoming videos in the in the series, I've got a whole bunch of stuff I want to talk about, like I already said. So if you know if you have any questions about this kind of thing, if you want to know some of the more specific details, don't be shy. Just just ask in the comments because I want to start recording these videos really soon, and uh, you know I, you know I'll try and answer as much of the stuff as I as I possibly can. But uh, but yeah, so to just kind of summarize this video, just try to be pretty realistic about it. Decide what your goals are. Um, really plan it out. Don't, uh, well, I mean, you could tell people if you want, but I would probably just say, just, you know what, don't go around telling everyone uh, about what you're planning yet. Just really think it through. Um, sit on the idea for a, a while. Definitely don't make any rash decisions. You know, come up with a name and stuff like that and then come back to it a week later and, and decide if you still like it. Um, you know, and that kind of thing. So, yeah, just really, really take it steady. Um, patience is a virtue, which is, you know, something I'll talk about soon because I will talk about uh, some, some mistakes I made in an episode soon where, you know, I was too impatient with certain things and I rushed uh, to release certain products and stuff like that. It really, really hurt um, my business. And, and, you know, once you kind of have a negative, you know, if you give someone a negative experience, it's hard to, to get rid of that um, and, and fix that. So, so yeah, anyhow, again, I feel like I'm rambling. So, good to be back making videos again. I hope you guys like this idea. Um, I'm actually pretty excited for a change about making videos. I've, I've been a bit, uh, in a, a bit in a bit of a creative rut lately, so it feels good to be getting back into the swing of things. But, um, yeah, anyhow, I will uh, catch you guys soon, and, uh, yeah, have a, a great day or night or morning or whatever. <laughs>